At the September 2018 Climate Science Conference in Porto, Portugal, I had a chance to speak with Christopher Essex, Professor of Applied Mathematics at the University of Western Ontario. So I decided I would take the position that if they were going to interview me, uh, they would have to pass a basic science pop quiz. And so I would say, you know, are you prepared to take my pop quiz? And um, usually um, journalists are not accustomed to having to answer basic science questions, um, which at some level you can understand is maybe a little, it sounds like it's unfair. But if, you're going, if you've been writing articles about a particular topic like climate for 20 years, then maybe you should be able to know at least something about the subject. And my experience is that the, uh, the uh, more flamboyant uh, journalists often knew the least about, um, more aggressive ones knew the least about the subject. So. Are you going to give away the pop quiz? Oh yeah, the pop quiz is easy. And, and my experience is that you can tell people what the answers are. And, it won't help because uh, the M because they never they never <laughs> listen anyway. So you could say this is the answer, and they're not listening because they have their own agenda. So, so the the one that I've I've been using is uh, can you tell me what the Navier-Stokes equation is, or tell me anything about the Navier-Stokes equation? And the Navier-Stokes equations are the uh, fundamental equations for the movement of air and water, and you better know about air and water movement if you want to talk about climate and everything that goes on to, in discussions about that somehow that's in the background and in the subtext so maybe you maybe should have heard of the Navier-Stokes equations which are really famous in the world of, of, of equations and is famous in the world of meteorology famous in the world of climatology and so forth but you'd be amazed how many journalists will respond with something like what are the Navier-Stokes equations? They have all of these things to say about and write about climate, but they've never even heard of the Navier-Stokes equations, never even heard of them. And that, that I think, that's a failing grade right there. You say, the, the wrong, one wrong answer is, what are the Navier-Stokes equations? 